I've gone live. I know it's lunchtime and I've suddenly become aware that I'm actually hungry. Anyway, <laughs> I will eat after this. Not a problem. <sighs> I think, what's that I'm feeling? Hungry. <laughs> Hi, Lex. <laughs> yes, I went and saw my lovely lady again. Sat in her garden, as we we're allowed to do, and went through quite a few bags of stuff and made friends with two very lovely pugs. Um, very sweet they were and very friendly, actually. So apparently they don't normally take to people, but they took to me. So I don't know where that leaves us, but there we go. Um, yeah, I've got a smooth, um, smooth? No, I haven't. I've got a small haul. Um, I spent £30 today. Uh, nothing huge or heavy or terribly exciting, but hey, you know, it's a haul. It's exciting in these current times, isn't it, really? Um, loving all the jewellery. Um, Lex, I just just caught up on your vlog from yesterday. Love that heart with the blue. That's amazing. And that amethysty silver bracelet. Mm. Shopping your own stock. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> so what did I come back with? I didn't come back with as much as I thought I would because I must have gone through about 15 bags. But there are many things that I aren't my area of expertise. But she did have a couple of dresses that were very, very very dressy up as in bordering on the kind of costume drag kind of thing and and but they're not i don't think they were specifically and it's not my area at all and they take up a lot of room pug life yeah <laughs> uh so i've got a few bits and pieces anyway who are these from these are new new jeans clearly the price has been marked down from not very expensive to very inexpensive they're only $17.99 new. Why'd I pick them up? Because they're H&M and they're a flare with a high waist. I kind of know that that'll move quickly, won't it? So they are new fit denim. They don't look very different to any others, really. Not my colour, obviously, but um, with a nice flare at the bottom there. So they're very much in vogue with a high waist. And a bit of, actually, it's got a lot of stretching, though. It's got size on 32, 32. They'd probably be a bit big on me, to be honest. But they've got they've got, they've got this going on. I don't wear this. I appreciate it as a look on the right person. It doesn't look right on me. Just saying. It doesn't suit me at all. Oh, no. Oh, what a shame. Well, then you can keep it back. Isn't that horrible? Someone would do that to a piece of jewellery. That's, that's that's like defacing a book. <laughs> it's just, oh, hello, Jules. Hello again. Yes, we keep meeting. Um, uh, uh, we are actually having the witches in tonight. I wasn't sure we were going to, uh, but we are having it tonight. So just saying. Uh, in fact, I realised when I did the live the other day, that there were a few bits I didn't show you at all. That I'd got I'd slipped to one side. So I'd said I'd got 14 items and hadn't shown you 14 items. But it wasn't that exciting. Now, what's going on here? Ah, yes, right. Yeah. So it's got a it's got a slightly adjustable waist on it. I just picked this out for style. It's new with its tags. It's one of those M and S being the sale things. Um, but I thought it's a wraparound skirt. Is it? Hang on, have I done this wrong? That's tiny. There's no way that goes there. Done something very, yeah, that's more like it. I'd done something very wrong. <laughs> uh, there we are. Do it properly, Heather. Complete lack of any remote professionalism happening. You've been shopping. Oh, you, you appear to have ordered. So it was sort of like sleep shopping, was it? <laughs> Oops. Vivian Westwood. I do look at them and then I think, I cannot. For the life of me, justify spending that amount of money on a T-shirt. I know, I'm tight. <laughs> but, so I'm having trouble making this look decent. Um, but I'm, I am always sorely tempted. So I'm living through you, Lex. <laughs> I'm living vicariously through you with Vivian Westwood. Right, it's a skirt. It's pleats, it's wrapped round, and it's sort of geometric midi length. I thought that's quite nice, I might want that. I wouldn't have bothered if it hadn't been new, but I worked out, I think that's about £2 a piece here for these. 
Um, like I say, thirty pounds in total. I don't even know how many I've got. You will see us later. You missed last week. Oh, child binding. <laughs> You're off again for two weeks now. Yeah, child binding takes it out of you, I'm sure. It's not really, not really my bag. I used to do it when I was a teenager. This is new as well. This this is MS clearance, wasn't it? I think I can use a hairdryer and get some of these off. I picked this up because although it looks a bit scruffy at the moment, it is new and it's a white linen, just a classic linen shirt. And with the coming season and the hot weather we were meant to have, that could be that could be a thing. So these are what I call sort of fairly bread and buttery quick flip stuff, but when you've only paid you know, a couple of quid, it's not so bad. Be some money in it. Oh, hello, Sandra Kirk. That's a new name to me, I think. Hello and welcome. <laughs> You're having a lazy day. Uh, is everyone booked today off work, you see, because it's <laughs> it was meant to be nice. In fact, it was lovely when I was outside earlier sorting through clothes, but it's clouded over. But at least it's not cold. <laughs> You're just silly. No, being silly is a good thing. Um, this oh, this was also new with tags. Yeah, again, another people clearing down. I wonder what it was originally. Back. I'm going to have to get these labels off. New with tags. It's viscose, but it's a very hippy dippy. It's a bit brighter than it's coming over in the camera with a prairie feel. Probably something quite good for the summer. Spring into summer. Hippy style, a bit of smocking going on. Um, shame it's not silk really, but that's because I like silk. So there we go. It's all fairly good. I haven't said what sizes any of these are. I think they're all around a 12, 10, 12, something like that. And I picked this up because I believe this brand is having a little resurgence. I could be wrong. But it was in very good order and it's a classic kappa with the strip down the side. With the ladies. There they are, there's the ladies. It was a very big brand at one time, but that's quite a reasonable size. I think it's a a large and it looks in very good order. So I don't normally wouldn't normally bother with the t-shirt, but there wasn't too much to pick today, so I was kind of scrambling around a little bit. Right, this is a Levi's shirt, but I quite like the style of it. There it is. Nice. Um, short sleeved stripes. It looks a bit like a dish rack because it's been in a bag, but it will get steamed. But it's a nice stripy one in cotton. Um, if anybody's anything like me, it's nice to wear 100% cotton. It's got a bit of pin tucking on the front there, nice design detail. So, again, none of these big money, but wow, we're just waiting for the boot fairs, aren't we? You've had a delivery of gemstones. Oh, man. You're going to have to show us. We like sparklies. Hello, Claire. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is vintage or not. Might not be. But I picked it up because it's in that ah, 70s polyester -y nylon vintage look. Let's put it that way. It's a vintage look. And this is a Nike one. I quite often find Adidas ones in this. But that's a extra large. Is that really an extra large? That doesn't look like an extra large. I think that's the ladies. No, it's 13 to 15 years. Bucker. I do try not to pick up kids' ones. That's what happens when you're sitting in the lawn chatting to somebody desperate for stock. But it's in good order. It will still make some money, but I do find the kids' stuff just doesn't bring in the, um, the money. I don't know why this says number 71 on it, but it's a, it's, it's a good brand, this Brooks Brothers. I know it's a bit of an uninspiring grey, but it's a quality shirt, so I thought it's new, why not? Got all its tags. I think some of this stuff comes from auctions, that's why. It's new like that. Not all of it does. Oh, I picked this up because I do like this brand. This is LS. There we go, there's the LS logo. Rather vintage style, and it's a squat. 
and it is new with its tags, which I didn't realise, in a size 14. So LS, Scort, and everyone's out playing tennis now and things, aren't they? So I really ought to get this on very quickly. A site a larger 14, Monroe Scort in navy. There we go. Don't know what the original price would have been, but I don't think these are cheap. And they're probably in demand, so rather nice. I say tennis, people might want them for other things, but I tend to think of sports being for tennis, which you can do outside now. Yay! Righty ho. I can't look these up at the end, but I think it works out roughly that. I picked this up. It's it's very nearly see-through. It is a knit. It's a very fine knit, but it's one of these desigual. Um, I like the I like the label desigual. I like their stuff. This is too small for me. It's extra small. I quite like the colours. It's got a few sequins, a few sparkly bits, plain on the back. The one, the only fault I have noticed with it, which I can easily correct, is it's it's little metal. I think most people know this brand, don't they? That's where they put the things the other way. Desigual. It it needs sewing on again, but that that's easy to do. I'll put that to one side. Oh, again. The itchy nose. <laughs> Coming soon. Yeah, we're all very excited about about Lex's um, jewellery finds. Right, now pick these up because they looked in quite good order. Now, Lee jeans. They might, I don't know, they're not coated, but they have got a slight... I thought I might like these. Again, always black jeans for me. Oh, hello, Maria. Uh, they're just Lee jeans. They look reasonably high-waisted. They're more of a straight cut. More of a straight jean. Not even really skinny. It's a bit hard to tell. But they are in... What size are you? I think I thought they might do for me. 32, 34. With a zip pocket. There's the Luke zip pocket. Um, yeah, some a lot of the time I will pick up jeans thinking they're all right for me, try them on a bit, and uh, they just don't fit right. <laughs> you might be rubbish at it. No, you won't. You won't be rubbish at it. Um, not at all. Very much looking forward to seeing the ideas and what you come up with because it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. That's the main thing. This, this, this. Right way up, wrong way up. What's going on here? Right, this one isn't new. It's Peruna. And comes with its own belt. And it's basically a shirt dress. It looks like a dish rag at the moment. But it's a shirt dress with tab sleeves. Um, chambray. With the pin tucking, which everyone likes a bit of prairie. Kind of detail, country style, granddad collar. Oh, showing you these really badly, aren't I? Covered in fluff. So that's going to need a very good steam. It's midi length and it's a size. I do like these. I think they make them out of 10 cell or something quite nice. Two part set. That's because it's got the belt, I'm assuming. It's an eight. Oh, it's smaller than I thought. Okay. Lyocell, that's what it is. Lyocell, I think, is a derivative of, of cotton, so it is a natural fabric, which in summer is what we all like. I, well, speaking for myself. Okay, I picked up one of these jumpers last week, and I've picked up probably its mate. I picked up a silk. What is that there? It's just a bit of fluff. There we go. No faults, just fluff. This is this make again, which it doesn't do too badly. Giovanni Galli. It's not a, it's not an amazing bolo or anything, but it's 100% wool. It feels really nice and soft, and being a red colour is a good thing. Probably slightly going out of season for jumpers, but hey ho, we're not out of the woods yet, are we? And this is a 40 inch chest, so that's a medium, isn't it? A 40 inch chest. I don't know. I'll, I'll double check it against the other one, but that's an easy quick listing. And it does feel nice. It's not scratchy. Slightly bobble needy. 
Right, this is not the season for these. At uh, these prices, why wouldn't you? This is. Oh no, don't tell me I've made the classic. Oh no, that, no, hang on. Get things the right way up or have I got it wrong? No, nope, that's fine. I thought for a minute there, because I didn't check the zip on this, I was just so taken by the colour I just grabbed it. We might need a cable tie on it. I don't know. Right, this is Quicksilver. Look at the colour. That's why I got it. Because it's kind of colour blocked and mad. It's got that 90s vibe. 80s, 90s. And it's actually surprisingly lightweight, so you wouldn't necessarily have to wait for skiing. Quick tech, youth, co youth collection again. Size 14, so it's supposed to be a 14 year old. And that would fit a woman as well. Oh, never mind. I think it was the colours. And I also picked up the first thing I've grabbed. This is Monsoon. Monsoon moves okay for me. It's a thin, thin cotton top, really, for the coming season. So, again, not too bad at all. And I got a nice silk dress that I've been keeping to one side. And put it somewhere. <sighs> yeah. Somewhere there's a silk dress that I bought a couple of weeks ago. And I'm, um, bless her, she found the belt for me so I can now sell it because it is gorgeous. And this is the belt that goes with it. Deep navy colour. And I'm just grateful that that popped out of the bags. So we have one. So for £30 spend, you know, I am not complaining at all. This is saving my life, stopping me getting bored. One, two, uh, I wish that wasn't kids, but then anyway. two, three, four, five, oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay, I've, uh, 15, I bought 15 things for 30 pence, so that works out at two pounds each. If I can find this damn dress of mine, i put to one side for safety. I might use that as well. Damn it, what do I do with it? It'll turn up. <laughs> It'll turn up. So there we go. Two pounds a piece. Quite fair. We'll make decent money out of it. Not going to make a fortune. Not kidding. But it's all good. It's all gravy. The ones that say it's kids, take the labels out of the jacket. <laughs> it's quite a big label. Um, it would certainly fit. The thing is, I saw 14. I thought, oh, size 14. But, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, really, but I do. What I tend to do is I will say it's a youth size, but it will fit a female size eight to ten or what have you, because they do genuinely. The arm lengths are right, and you know, why not? Oh, Josh is in. Hello, <laughs> nice to see you. I'm very lucky that I can get clothes. Um, very lucky indeed. I mean, it's not massive quantities, and I have to sift through a lot of bags to pick out to find anything that's kind of slightly decent. But I know that she's letting me go through the bags first and, pick, and cherry pick. And then it's all going to end up at the boot fairs, which are starting next month. And people will be buying for 50p an item. So, you know, I'll see you again at the boot fairs and I'll probably rummage through and see if there's anything that's worth having for 50p. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've, yeah, I thought she's kept me going through, through difficult times. So I'm never going to begrudge paying a little bit more for items. And, you know, she lets me have first pick. So very happy about that because I used to have to get up at some god unearthly hour in the morning to be at the Angel Centre for seven o'clock in the morning to, to pick over 
bags with other people. So uh, it, it makes a difference. <laughs> it's not seven o'clock in the morning and it's just me. Um, and she was the lady that I got things like the Nirvana t-shirts from. So there's always the possibility of getting something really amazing, but an awful lot of it is, yeah, you know, everyday stuff. How many sleeps? Uh, the Mapleton Farm one, which is the one nearest me, starts on the 18th. So it's not lots of sleep, but I'll have just had my brace put in then. So I'm probably going to be, uh, I might be a bit salty that morning. <laughs> um, I was a very dear friend of mine who buys and sells jewellery. Other than Lex, <laughs> um, a local friend here, lady called Anne. And I'm going to be taking her to some of the boot fairs with all of her stuff so that she, because she's got no transport. And someone else was taking her in the van, but they were charging her. <laughs> That's wrong. Now I said, no, I'll take you up there, sling your stuff in the back. You can set up and I'll go and shop. And then at the end of it all, we can just pack it all down and, and go home. So it's fine. It's jewellery. It's not like she's selling mountains of big, heavy stuff. So, um, yeah, so we're going to do that. So it just, it's, you know, it's a nice thing to do, isn't it? Someone else does do jewellery, yes. She's um, she's very good at repairing things. She's got a real fondness for Art Nouveau and Art Deco pieces. We very much have a similar taste. You would love Anne's house. You walk in there and there's like Tiffany lamps and and the sort of statues and, oh, the, play, the you know, Egyptian revival and gorgeousness. You just walk around, you don't know where to look first. It's amazing. <laughs> Not that she's selling any of that stuff, but there you go. Um, but she, you know, I just love her house. And she's got two of the most beautiful kind of Persian, Siamese, fluffy cats as well. So, you know, that will be great when I can actually go back indoors there. Uh, but I met up in the park with her yesterday and we discussed doing some boot fairs together. And I might take a couple of bits for sale, but I'd rather go and buy a boot fest, to be honest. Um, that's That's what I hope to do. And obviously, sometimes she'll sell me some stuff at an advantageous rate because I help her sort through. It's lovely. You go to a house. <laughs> when we weren't in, in lockdown, there was, there was a stage where I could go around there and she was trying to declutter because she was she was a bit overwhelmed with the stuff. And so she'd bring down these great big boxes and we'd literally just go through them. I was in heaven and she couldn't believe that someone else likes doing this as much as she does. Yeah, you would, you'd, you'd be in there. You'd be paying her. <laughs> um, uh, she was the lady that repaired those um, amazing uh, shoes with all the diamantes on. Um, yeah, she's she's very skilled, bless her. And uh, and I and we have fun. We natter and just love sorting through stuff. Half the stuff she doesn't want to sell, <laughs> but I have bought stuff from her in the past and things that she's not so fond of, which are the acrylic pieces and things that are vintage, but they're not of the era that she loves so you know that's that's been quite useful and i'm sure i will get more from her in time but it, you know i do pay her a decent amount for it it's not you know it's not it's not junk junk shop prices um but you know fair enough so <laughs> there we go 25 minutes in i've shown you all my goodies weren't that many really wasn't that exciting sorry if i bored anyone <laughs> but um yeah, yeah. Well, I think we're all desperately looking forward to boot fairs now. I'm probably popping into to Karen Sone Thrifter's channel later on if anyone's popping in. Um, she's been doing her steps and is doing incredibly well. I think today's the day she finishes because it's Wednesday, not Tuesday. So if you want to pop along there, by all means do. I haven't got links and things. I'm a bit rubbish, but um, yeah, do pop in. And uh, I think there's a couple of us going on. I think Lex might be on there too. And um, I will see you all later. I'm very much in need of a cup of tea. So, to our, I will see you later. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Bye now. Bye-bye.